guys. I'm playing some more with um, the resin and trying to perfect my resin bead making. I uh, really um, am challenged by this and I'm finding that interesting. And I wasn't going to turn the camera on, but I decided to go ahead and do that. I am at the part where I am mixing the resin together for two minutes. And I am really trying hard with this round mold to get my beads so there's, uh, you know, as few bubbles as possible and to fix some of the beads that I already have made. So I have some ideas, uh, kind of a quick tip. So I thought I would come on here really quick. Now, I'm at the part, of course, where I'm mixing it for two minutes. So I'm going to keep doing this, which is going to create a lot of bubbles. And then I have some ideas and I'll be right back. So I've mixed it for two minutes and I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a million bubbles in there. So we're going to try something. We're going to torch it while it's still in the cup. And I don't know if that's going to help or not, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to turn my little butane torch on. And just really quick, really quick, really quick, try to pop some of those bubbles. And it did pop some. And now I'm going to, I've got my chopped up flowers and glitter mix in here. So we're going to mix that in. I also am working on getting the flowers chopped up as small as possible. Um, it'll make it easier to get them in this mold and um, I might have to get a, um, a spice chopper. Okay, so now those are mixed in and we're going to torch it again. And then I'm going to mold these beads and we'll um, see what happens. Okay, I can tell you right now that I was really trying to be careful about chopping up the flower petals. It's pouring much easier into the mold than last time. So you really need to have your bits pretty small. And pour it slow. Okay, and then torch it one more time. Okay, so that's the best we can do. We are going to let that set for 12, uh, 24 hours to 48 hours and we will unmold it and see if it's any better. The other thing I had the idea to do, and I was going to mix up some more clear, but there's some of this left, so let's try it with this. Um, we're going to just throw that away. I'm going to take um, a brush here. This is a, just a disposable uh, resin brush. And with some of these beads, I went ahead and sanded off the jaggy, icky parts. And I thought, I wonder if I could just kind of brush on some fresh resin and if I was careful about it if I could bring the shine back without going through the crazy nonsense of polishing them might still have to polish them but 
I'm going to try these square ones first because I think they might be easier. Um, you can sand off the crazy edges and any defects in your mold uh, with um, some Dremel sanding bits and um, start with a coarser grit and work your way to a finer grit and then get some wet dry sandpaper 800 grit or better and then some Novus polishing compound which I actually ordered it's not in yet and it will come with a cloth I'm gonna put an Amazon link in the video description for you guys and I, I think that'll work so we're gonna leave these set too so I will be back I'll be back it hasn't been 24 hours yet, um, but I wanted to just show you guys. So that little bit of resin that I mixed up, I did uh, point, point 0.4 of an ounce. So I guess four tenths of an ounce of both part A and the hardener part B. Mixed it up. I put um, probably about a total of a teaspoonful of um, very finely chopped up rose petals and a little bit of glitter and a few seed beads. I got six, seven, eight. Uh, beads, um, more beads out of it, I was able to top off all five of these square ones and put a dusting on um, my existing round ones to try to solve some issues I have with them um, from just being new at making beads. And um, so we'll see what happens. I will be back uh, tomorrow and I will let you know. I'll be back.